What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to simplify some algebraic expressions that have all these crazy exponents in them. All right, so got three examples right here. So let's start with this one at the top. So we have m to the eighth over m cubed in parentheses and then that's raised to the fourth power, right? So you always want to simplify the top as much as possible and you want to simplify the bottom as much as possible before you try to do any type of division or cancel anything out. Okay, so m to the eighth, that's already as simplified as we can get it, right? But here we have m cubed in parentheses raised to the fourth. So we can simplify this more, right? So let's do that. So this is gonna be equal to, again, m to the eighth, and then that's gonna go over, and then m cubed raised to the fourth power. Okay, so whenever you have an exponent raised to another exponent, remember, all you have to do is multiply these two together. Okay, so three times four is 12. So then down here, we're gonna have m to the 12th power, okay? So the top and the bottom, they're both as simplified as we can get them. So now we can try and combine them. Okay, so how do you divide exponents here? Well, again, we have the same base, right? We have an m here, m here. So you just keep the m. And then in order to divide the exponents, all you have to do is subtract them, okay? And the one that's on top is the one that you always write first. So I'm going to write an 8 here. And then I'm going to subtract the bottom one, which is 12, right? So 8 minus 12 is equal to negative 4. So then this is going to be equal to m to the negative fourth power. Now, how do you deal with a negative exponent? Well, that's not too bad. All you have to do is write it as a fraction under 1. Okay, so we'll put a 1. And then in the bottom goes this part right here. And, and then the only difference is instead of the exponent being negative, it turns into a positive. Okay, so m to the negative fourth is equal to 1 over m to the positive fourth. Okay, and then this is as simplified as you can get. All right, let's do just a couple more examples here. So here we have x to the seventh over x cubed in parentheses. And then that whole thing is raised to the second power, right? So again, before trying to combine this in any way, we have to simplify the top and the bottom as much as possible. Okay, so that means we have to take this exponent and apply it to the top and to the bottom. So how do you do that? Well, again, whenever you have an exponent raised to another exponent, you just multiply them together. Okay, so I'll write it out here. So we're gonna have x to the seventh over x cubed, and then we're gonna multiply each of these exponents by two. Okay, so times two, times two. Okay, that's how you apply this exponent out here. All right, so then simplifying, uh, 7 times 2, that's 14. So on top, we're going to have x to the 14th. And then that's going to go over 3 times 2, which is 6. So down here is going to be x to the 6th, right? x to the 6th. Okay, so the top is as simplified as we can get it, and so is the bottom. So now we can combine these two. Now we can divide them, okay? So again, we have the same base, right? An x here, an x here. So you just keep the x, and then you just subtract the exponents. And then the top one you always put first. Okay, so 14, and then minus the bottom one, which is 6. Okay, so 14 minus 6 is equal to 8, right? So then this is going to be equal to x to the 8th power. Okay, so that would be your answer. All right, so now let's just do this last one right here. Okay, so again, first thing we have to do, like in the last problem, uh, simplify the top and the bottom, right? So you do that by applying the exponent. So like we applied this exponent to this whole thing, we're going to have to do the same thing here, okay? So we have to apply this exponent to the top and to the bottom, okay? And as you can see, we also have coefficients in this problem, right? We have a 4 on top and an 8 on the bottom. Okay, so this negative 2 right here, we have to apply it to every single term that's inside of our parentheses here, okay? So that means we have to apply it to the 4, we have to apply it to the b to the negative 5, we have to apply it to the 8, and we have to apply it to the c cubed, okay? So four different times. Okay, so then this is going to be equal to 4 raised to the negative 2 times b to the negative 5, also raised to negative 2, and then that's all going to go over the bottom part, so 8 raised to the negative 2, and c cubed, so times c cubed, also raised to the negative 2. Okay, so let's simplify this some more. So starting here, 4 raised to the negative 2 power. Okay, so whenever you have something raised to a negative exponent, you just throw it to the opposite side and you make it positive. Okay, so going back to this first problem up here, 
right, we had m to the negative 4. So we just threw it to the denominator and made it positive, right? So we're going to do the same thing here. So 4 raised to the negative 2 is going to be 4 raised to the positive 2 in the denominator. Okay, so let me draw in the bar right there. Okay, so it's in the denominator, right, and it's positive. Okay, so then the next term, b to the negative 5 raised to the negative 2. Again, whenever you have an exponent raised to another exponent, you have to multiply those together. Okay, so negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10, right, positive 10. So here we have b raised to the 10th power. b raised to the 10th power. And since it's positive, right, we don't have to move it to the denominator like we did with this first term, right? So we just keep it on top right there. So b to the positive 10. Okay, so we simplified our two terms up here on top, right? So now let's go to the bottom. So now here we have 8 raised to the negative 2 power. So again, whenever you have a negative exponent, you just throw it to the opposite side and you make it positive. So that means we're going to have an 8 to the positive 2 on top now. And remember, we're multiplying everything together, right? This is all multiplication. Okay, so then let's come to the, this uh, last term right here, c cubed raised to the negative 2 power, right? So 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Okay, so I'll write it right here. So c to the negative 6. All right, now let's simplify this a little bit more. Now, normally you want to write your coefficients first. Okay, so 8 squared, that's equal to 64, right, 64. And then we're multiplying it by b to the 10th, right? b to the 10th power. And then that's going to go over 4 squared, which is 16. And then here we have c to the negative 6th power, right? So whenever we have a negative exponent, again, you put it to the opposite side and make it positive. So that means we're going to have c to the positive 6th power right there. And I'm going to scoot over just to have a little bit more room. Okay, so now the last thing you want to do is see if you can simplify anything with this division right here. And we can, right? Because we, we can simplify these numbers. So 64 divided by 16, that's actually equal to 4. And then we have the rest of our answer right here, right? b to the 10th, c to the 6th. b to the 10th, c to the 6th. Okay, so that would be your final answer. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.